Rachel, and Mary yes. Sue. It says rebel on your arm. I do. I have an I rebel tattoo. Wow. <laughs> I rebel. Wow. It's, it's so easy to add a moon. That's right. That was Ray also <laughs> said that I could just add a moon onto my tattoo. So then I could just be like, hey guys. So if you had to add a character from Rebel Moon to the tattoos, which one would it be? Um, well, I think I would I would put Cora, but I would also Korra, put I, I would put Gunner because I do uh, like but I was gonna ask you first, uh Gunner is a fun little just guy who, you know, he doesn't fight. He kind of just, no. he saves a child at one point, which I do love. Yeah. But when you are kind of playing this man who was a farmer and is thrown into this giant space battle, what is the fun for you as an actor of getting to play this guy thrown into something that is much larger than he's ever seen before, but is still kind of like willing to be a part of something as epic as like being part of yeah. the rebellion? Um, well, it's, I guess the journey is the fun, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, I, I, I just really, uh, I like, I guess, playing an anti-hero, you know, in, in, in a, in a movie that's so epic uh, to play a guy that doesn't really know how to fight, has never fought before, has never held a gun in his life, you know, <laughs> um, and, uh, and then for him to, against all odds, maybe, you know, become a hero, somewhat of a hero himself at some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but that's, that's exciting. Yeah, and Charlie, I, I do first love his tank top look, where he just has like whole kind his of cut out sides. so badass. What about the, the hood? Yeah, the I mean, hood, like, he has a whole vibe. I love yeah. his ship. Everything about Kai is... The grill, the yeah. rings. He's just rocking a vibe. But for you, when you have this character that like is shrouded in mystery throughout most of this movie, what for you as an actor is fun about kind of getting to like hide in that mystery in the sci-fi genre? Because that's kind of cool for the character too. It's 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 funny. I mean, Kai is so unpredictable. Um, and so just marches to the beat of his own drum that it felt like there, was, there were no rules. You know, I've been so fortunate in my career over the last 10 years that I've been playing a lot of leading characters, mm -hmm. you know, like often sort of like the lead role. And there's a certain requirement of sort of consistency and to be like quite grounded so that you can allow the audience to really climb inside you and be like this conduit for mm -hmm. the audience through the film as a leading character, like the way Mikhail does so beautifully in this film. I didn't really have any of that responsibility as Kai. And, and I, I just, um, I had this weird experience I've never had before where I just totally relinquished control to Kai and felt like he sort of possessed me in a way. Like I didn't often know really what I was gonna do in any scene, but just knew that that sort of energy of that dude was flowing through me and just trusted the process and had fun. I've never had as much fun because I just, I was really felt like that was the entire point just to mm -hmm. actually for me show up and have fun and to um, try to be really present because I thought that's what Kai was, although mm -hmm. he has a lot of different facets to his personality and he evolves and he's really hard to pin down. I wanted every moment to feel like he was really genuine and like in the moment and that he was um, sort of someone who was like lost and like looking to belong to something. Yeah, and for both of you, with existing in the sci-fi genre is already kind of, it is otherworldly, but it is also just kind of, you have to relinquish a lot of grounding as actors. What was the fun of doing that within the Zack Snyder universe? Because that's also a whole thing. I don't know. Do you feel like we had to relin relinquish a lot of grounding? No. I Me neither. I, th I think that that might be a trap that this genre presents you with that it would be foolish to fall into. Yeah. I think that maybe the 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 uh, what's what's actually required is to go against that and to just remind yourself that we as playing actors it. are playing human we're exploring the human condition. We're exactly. trying to bring something relatable and true to life in juxtaposition to this giant insane world that they're operating within. And that that in the end will also make the story interesting, right? Yeah.
awesome thank you guys um thanks for talking with me i can't wait for people to get to see it and i am a huge triple frontier fan so oh. this ruled talking to you today right on <laughs> you know uh i mean nothing guaranteed nothing guaranteed but i uh just set up recently as the main producer a potential sequel to triple frontier I... at netflix so we're working on that it's in its absolute infancy but i feel like i've got a lot more to say about um the sort of life after life of military oh. personnel so I and we're really that. hopeful i would love that so much thank oh, you thank guys. you thank you well watch this space <laughs> thanks i appreciate <laughs> it